Okay, is this thing on? Well, the little line is going up, so I guess so. Hello, everybody! And, of course, now it blinked mine out. <laughs> Love it when it does that. Uh, can I get the thing back? Are you finished? No. Let's see. Um, shift tab. There we go. Update that screen. Nope. All right. A little bit of technical difficulty there whenever I get my camera set up. All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I am Vormithrax, and this is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. We are starting up a brand new challenge. So we finished up Huey McLector, and it's time to go off into another one. We are going to be playing Bruce Binger. Bruce has got some issues. This isn't actually the full list. Uh, for whatever reason, this screen is still bugged and doesn't show you all the info. You'll see his full list here in a second. Here, I'll back up a few traits. So, that gets a number of them in there. Gourmand, Quick. What else is on there? Oh yeah, the negative stuff doesn't list as well. So we're chemically imbalanced. We are an insomniac with mood swings. Uh, schizophrenic. Oh yeah, all the good stuff. We'll pop back over here. Alright, so... <laughs> Oh, uh, brand new one. This one's going to be rough. Now, there's a few things I need to announce right up front. We're going to cheat in two ways. Uh, first, this is going to be another one of those Mega City challenges. So I am going to always have the map revealed. Even if we travel to new areas, I'm going to keep revealing the map. We're not going to play with map off on this one. So don't be too shocked and astonished by the size of the city. It is a 16 size city we're going to be playing in with zero spacing. Uh, I will restart a couple of times if I have to, to make sure we land somewhere deep within a huge city. Um, ideally, we'll never leave the city, but if we have to, we will. So that's the first way we're going to cheat. Uh, we're going to have the map always revealed. I usually do that for my mega cities. And then secondly, I've had issues with the RBD starts and the antibiotics, the way they work currently, where I take antibiotics 30 minutes into the challenge. So I start, 30 minutes later, I find the antibiotics, I take them, I take five of them, three days later I'm still infected, and if that's not bad enough, the game basically, because of all of the negative effects that you're under at that point, becomes a non-stop interrupt fest. You can't even pass time, you can't even say, stand in place and either cure the infection or kill me. No, it's wait five hours is the command you give, 30 seconds later you get interrupted, a minute later you get interrupted. 20 seconds later, you get interrupted. It's just, it, it drives me bananas. So, what I'm going to do is, if I find antibiotics, take antibiotics, and I'm still infected 48 hours later, I'm going to cure that through cheat means. Uh, I'm not going to put up with that kind of stuff. So, that is the only other way we're going to cheat. But I still have to go through the whole finding antibiotics, being infected, waiting out the infection timers, all that kind of stuff. But, uh... I don't want to dive bomb back down into that rabbit hole of just just maddening, enraging interruption issues. So, other than that, we're going to play straight up like I always do. Uh, I'm playing the old hardcore Iron Man Cataclysm with stupid settings. In this one, we are a really bad day shower victim. So, everybody's mostly familiar with that if you've played a bit of Cataclysm. And uh, I've also stacked it up with some horrendous negative traits. Uh, we pretty much got all of the negative chemical, mood, and so on traits. Um, so it's going to be horrifying what's going to happen to the poor guy. Uh, and we've also got the zombie rates spawned up. It's 1.5, item spawned down 0.5, all of that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> uh, that's kind of what we're looking at. Now, my stated goal, which I honestly not sure I will ever be able to accomplish, but it's just something we're going to try... Uh, is kind of part of the name of the challenge. So the challenge name is Drinking Tiger Searching Dragon. We're the Drinking Tiger because we already have the Shaolin Adept Tiger style. And uh, we also are a Drunken Master. So that's the Drinking Tiger. And then we are going out trying to search for the Dragon Style book. I can't remember ever finding the Dragon book. <laughs> ever. So I honestly don't know if that's even possible. Um, I'm not certain how I would go about this. Mansions would be a good location, but we're not likely to see any, given this kind of a world start. I'm not certain they'll pop up in regular bookstores and stuff. So, while it's a stated goal, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what's going to happen. I have a secondary one in mind uh, that, if it gets long enough, we might switch to. But for the moment, we're going to stick to that one. I think this one may be just a series of short, unfortunate deaths. Uh, given the world settings and the situation this guy starts out in. So, 
Uh, yeah, <laughs> so don't expect this to go too long. This may be just one night of me dying over and over and over again, and I'll have to make a uh, uh, one of my death <laughs> memorial reels just for this one particular episode. So we'll see, though. We might adjust on the fly, but that's what we're going to start with. Uh, so stats, 13, 10, 6, 9, kind of tailored towards the uh, Shaolin Adept style. Another part of this is what I'm going to show is just how strong some of these other styles are when you uh, kind of tweak your way to them. Um, so with 13 strength, 10 dex, as well as the 4 melee, 4 unarmed, 3 dodge, this guy right out of the gate is just going to be smashing things down, even with really, really bad stats. So... Even with all of the negative effects from the RBD start, uh, we're still going to be killing zombies in just a few swings. That's the idea, anyway. Um, so, hopefully we can use that ability to clear an area for him to safely set up shop in. Uh, obviously, we'll be looking for a basement, probably, initially, uh, to hide in. The Z-levels are off, as usual, and uh, all the other mods are pretty much the same as I normally play with, so not too much different there. All right, that's about it for that. Um, yeah... Uh, speaking of the vote system, I actually am going to do a manual version of that. Uh, and yes, it's right out of the Twitch stuff. Uh, I'm going to come up with a manual implementation of that where we'll do some kind of a system and I'll spawn in using the debug menu or do various effects with the debug menu. So it's going to take me a little while to kind of develop that one, but it is something I'm thinking about. All right, I think we're ready to go in though. Bruce Binger is uh, going to head on in. Let's see what kind of a game world we've got. I am sure. Tiger style. And like I said, we may restart the map a few times depending on which map we get. So, Wow, no fire immediately around me. Uh, huh. Well, we are technically in the edge of a big city. <laughs> uh, oh, well, let me reveal it first. That's the other part of this. So, reveal map. What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty big city. It's actually kind of an ideal start for us. That is... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a city. That's just about an entire overworld map section of uh, Pure City. Hmm. Do I teleport myself into the middle of this thing, or do we stay on the outside edge? Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Uh, type in uh, center or edge, or which, which you would prefer me to start at. The edge is going to be easier for me. The center is going to be ridiculous, so <laughs> I'll do either. Uh, I'll give you a second or two, but type in whatever you want. I'll either start here in this right at the edge here, or I'll just kind of pick a random spot. I'll move to the middle, close my eyes, and hit a bunch of random directions, and then we'll hit enter and we'll start there. City size is fine. I'm just not c convinced uh, the, the edge is a good position. <laughs> All right, enter, center, 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 center. All right, so what we'll do is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, we'll do this. This will be fun. Uh, I've got my cursor... Where's Moncton? And we'll go right here in the middle of Moncton. So right between Trenton and Moncton. All right, there's my cursor. I'm going to turn my head. <laughs> I'm just going to randomly hit keys on my keyboard for a while. Do to do to do do to do Spam, spam, spam. All right, that's where we're going to start. Where, where am I? Right back where I started? Pretty much right back where I started. That's fine. I got to start in the building, though. I can't start inside. So now we're going to choose thrift store, pharmacy, ice cream shop, or museum. Oh, well, of course, I want the museum. <laughs> uh, we're doing the museum. Now nah, we'll do the ice cream shop. All right, we're in the ice cream shop. That doesn't look like an ice cream. Oh, I didn't teleport. <laughs> Sorry, I was on view map. I gotta go find my ice cream shop again. Moncton Ice Cream Shop. Short range teleport. Get in there. Alright, there we go. That'll work. Oh, we got fungals in the area? I didn't even look at that. <laughs> fungal. I should have turned off fungal. That's uh, I always forget to turn off fungal when I do these super super cities. I can't uh yeah. Six fungals. <laughs> oh man. Uh, flowers bloom, bloom, tower, flowers. The flowers aren't bad. The towers and the blooms, though. All right, we'll go with it. No problem. Maybe we'll go embrace the myconoid myconids for for the first time ever. 
We'll leave them in. We'll deal with it. I mean, we're already taking all the other negatives. Uh, I mean, we've got pretty much all the negatives you can take uh, for this stuff. Chemical imbalance, heavy sleeper, high thirst, insomniac, mood swings, schizophrenic. Starting trashed with the flu, infected. Why not add uh, the uh, fungal infection as well? All right, here we go. This is our starting position. This is going to suck now that I'm nowhere near residence because residence is like <laughs> easy mode lifesaver territory for RBD start, which is how you normally would go because you're supposed to be stepping out of a shower. I guess I'm stepping out of a, a, a sink bath uh, here at the ice cream shop after hours. All right, so I think we're all set. So here's the character sheet again. That's Bruce Binger in all his glory. I'm going to ditch the towel. We're going to be completely naked here in a second. So if you have small children watching, make sure you shield their eyes. This is going to be not safe for work. All right, there he is. I, I better zoom out. There we go. That, that's a little more PG. All right, so... <laughs> Homeless guy taking a sink bath in Baskin Robbins? We've all been there. You got it, hold your fire. <laughs> All right, so we're set. Now look at those mighty, mighty stats. Eight, five, one, five. We have pain. We have cold. We have pretty much everything that could go wrong. So this is going to be rough. I totally expect lots of dying. So these kinds of starts, especially when you guys have plunked me down in the middle of the business district with no, no residential. God, there's no residential for six, seven blocks. Middle of the or early morning, so it is... Completely daylight. I'm right next to one of the uh, city nameplates. That could be a problem by itself, actually. <laughs> we'll see just how many. We, we got a brief glimpse of the zombies outside. So, where am I going to go? Hmm. Yeah. Alderain, I should have put a note on the, uh, the, the, the Twitch stream name that this will be an NSFW one. Oh, mighty, mighty bookstores. <laughs> uh, clothing store is my preference. I need to hit a clothing store right damn now. So we got grocery, smoking, daycare, music. Dollar store might have something. Uh, thrift store might. Museum is one very good possibility. If I can get super lucky and get some medieval armor or a weapon or something. Actually, I don't need the weapon. I just need the armor and clothing. Oh, an apartment complex. Oh, we're definitely going there. We got a museum next to an apartment complex. That might be my saving right there. Uh, now the difficulty is going to be basements. <laughs> How far do I have to go to get to a basement? <laughs> There's no basements in, in uh, commercial buildings. I'm going to have to travel forever to get to my beloved basement. How about a subway? Oh, we got a subway right there. It's looking good going west. I think we're going west. So museum, apartment, subway. Hop down into the subway. See where it goes. One unfortunate consequence of revealing the map is this. <laughs> I can see all the subway connections too, but I'm going to consider that uh, my my right to uh, to know that here in my home city, home city of uh, Newfane, Trenton, Moncton, Bethelville. <laughs> Enters Subway, encounters Mole Rat. Uh, it's going to be uh, Enters Subway, encounters Herd of Albino Penguins is what it'll be. Yeah, my hope is with the bookstores, the libraries, that uh, we'll have an opportunity to get that book. I'm just not certain it's possible. How many dojos do we have? We have 56 dojos. That'll do. That'll give us a few opportunities. Assuming I can figure out a way to live long enough to actually travel to 56 dojos. But between the dojos, the bookstores, and the libraries, I think we're covered. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a, uh, a reference to that. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't really see much choice here. I, I think it's definitely going to be dash across the street, try to get to the museum, the apartment then the subway, and then kind of work my way around from there. So, stay alive. 
become a badass or more of a badass and uh, try to find the dragon book. That's pretty much what we're doing. Starting from one of the worst possible positions with a t character hopefully tailored to actually survive it with the sole exception of the broken damn infection mechanic. All right, so what am I going to do here? Here's our gear. We have uh, nothing on our body. We have nothing in our inventory, and we're wielding nothing. That's going to be my number one problem. That's why I've got to get to uh, some clothing right away, because uh, I can't pick up anything. I can find the coolest things ever, and I won't be able to grab it. So, safe mode is off. We've got no NPC to worry about. Uh, the only problem now is this building's not really burning, which, eh, it's not like I wouldn't have gotten out of the building up north anyway. It's just going to force me outside like I'm about to do. So we'll simulate the burning building. I'll just, uh, uh, we'll say I can't leave this, the kitchen area here. We'll, we'll pretend the rest of it's burning and we'll just take off. All right. Do, do, do. Yogurt and ice cream. Let's have some ice cream. Cookies. Ah, oh, so much good stuff. Look at all this good stuff. I can't take with me. Uh, can't go that way. Oh, we got gloves. Let's wear some work gloves. Wait. Work gloves are how bad? 20? And maybe I don't want work gloves. Alright, how do we get out of here? One window and one door. Ooh, acid zombie. All right, so we grab and ground the Feral Runner for 31 damage. Then 18. Down he goes for 38. He gave me a spoon. Do I dare put on dirty clothing? That is going to be a big, a big, big maybe. So hopefully you can see right there just how powerful this guy is right from the get-go. He did 28, 41, 35 with his bare hands. Well, I guess I've got gloves on now. Uh, zombie never got an action. So that's the kind of things we're talking about here. <laughs> turret? Oh, there was a turret. I didn't see the turret. Am I going to get shot by a turret as soon as I step outside? Regular zombos. Alright, so we got a few zombies. Ooh, including a shock zombie. I'm not happy about the shock zombie. And he's right in my way. Two shock zombies! <laughs> oh, because of course, there's got to be two shock zombies. Can't just be one. We've even got the door to the mansion right there. Now, other thing to realize, I don't have a, make or I don't have a crowbar or anything. Uh, would have been great to smash one of those and get a crowbar. Wondering if I should grab something. Now we've also got a feral hunter going to be coming right at me. Yeah, this is this is this is terrible. Bad. Uh. Uh, this is just bad. I don't want to go south. I'm going to have to go north and just pray I can get around those guys before my stamina runs out. Good old intelligence of zero. Yeah, let's let's just get moving. We're going to get tagged. All right, we're going to have to run for just a short bit at least. We need to get at least out of line of sight. I'm thinking of... Let's see, I see smoke north of me, so there's a smoke zombie up that way. Hmm. Pharmacy right across the way. Sure would be good to hit the pharmacy, of course. Hey there, Retro. Give me one second here.
All right, hand out a few more VIP tags. Um, so, what are we going to do here? This is the kind of gameplay I like. Tactical movement, tactical planning, how to keep a crazy guy alive in a crazy bad situation. You're welcome, Sildania. Yeah, the trick there is wrong tool, not high enough level, and or it's not fully repaired before you try to refit. <laughs> Pretty much those things cover all those situations. All right. Um, well, I would love to curve up this way. I'm not sure I can stay ahead of that long enough. I'm going to have to bag going into the museum. It's not going to happen. Hey, Retro, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Do <laughs> you assume what, Retro? You assume it went wrong? What are you talking about, man? I do win challenges on occasion. <laughs> Maybe he retired and died in his bed, happy with all of his children around him. It could not happen. It's a nice idea. It never happens, but uh, yeah. We, 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 we ended the previous one. We're starting a new one. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I, uh, I'm, I, I, yeah, dang it. <laughs> I don't want to go towards the smoke zombie either. I can see there's a tank up there. Light tank he's sitting next to. Oh, it's got treads even. Uh-oh. Got a vehicle with wheels. Engine's faulty. It's got all the controls. Whoops. Vehicle tank is busted, though. I just, yeah, there's no gas in that thing. All right, so that's not drivable. It's a good trick to know to uh, get rid of your mini-map so you have a longer list here and then uh, pass your cursor over the various locations that are critical. So you got to make sure you've got a seat and a dashboard and so on. you got to make sure the engine's okay and the, uh, it, has, oh, it has no battery either, so it's definitely not going to start. But uh, you can check for the wheels, you can check for the tanks. So usually if you've got a full view of it, you can... Uh, tell with most a pretty good degree of accuracy it's just the faulty engine components you can't be sure about really uh, whether you'd be able to start that now we don't have to run all the way over to it to check it all right <laughs> uh yeah no punching a door down when i've got two shock zombies dropping Dropping their shock love on me? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm really just debating between two things. Running up to the uh, pharmacy, because of course, the earlier I can get a hold of antibiotics, the better. And two, just stepping back down into this alley back here. This stuff will follow me this direction for a bit. I might be able to loop back around like so. And that RV might be useful. Because the pharmacy also, I have the issue I can get in, but I'm not going to be able to come out other than the way these guys are coming in at me. I doubt I'm be able to go out the back door. What do we got there? Malted milk balls? Yeah, that's that's exciting. Alright, let's, let's keep going this way for just a little bit. Alright, nothing much has changed. Those guys are still following. Let's go back to walk mode. Costing me 118 to walk, and I only have 93 speed because of all the negatives. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Get out of my way. I said, get out of my way or suffer the consequences. Shock zombies getting too close. Screwdriver set. I want. I cannot carry. Oh, wait, I could if I put on the duster, but then I'm going to get tagged by the shock zombie. Now I can't afford to grab that stuff right now. This is the, dish, the issue. I'm just not going to be able to get far enough ahead of these shock zombies, and I'm going to run out of stamina. Hey, Positronic. Oh, I can grab it, yes. I just... Yeah, I think I can do the force unarmed and all that kind of stuff. I'm not overly concerned about it. Given the city we're in, I'm not going to have a problem finding that kind of stuff. He says right before he probably needs the item. But, uh, oops, what kind of vehicle we got? Another RV. 
Another RV and a shock zombie. <laughs> oh, good old 1.5 spawn settings in a super city. Am I moving towards anything other than the dollar store? Music venue. Oh, we got a liquor store. Oh, man. I don't know if Bruce can uh, not go there. Maybe we'll check up that, that direction. We'll go to the dollar store, the liquor store. Across the way, we've got a grocery store and a pawn shop. And then we'll kind of work our way back this direction. I'm probably just going to end up running from crisis to crisis until I get killed and run down, though. Yeah, that guy's <laughs> that guy's slightly faster than me. Um, I've got a shock zombie. If I go that way, two shock zombies back that way. Poison in front of me, and I'm not convinced that a dollar store has a back door. Is this am I faster? I'm not even faster than that guy. Man, I'm in trouble when I'm not faster than a bloated zombie. Oh, goodbye, stamina. I'm going to try to get into the store here and get this door between me and them. Break line of sight, get my stamina back. And another shock zombie. <laughs> oh, man. Is this going to be a dead-end bathroom, probably? So now I have a choice between shocked or poisoned. I don't remember the design of this store. I'm in the music venue. He hasn't spotted me yet, I don't think. Yeah, I'm in the dark. As soon as I step into the light, he's probably going to come in. That's a stage, I think. Yeah, let's find out. I don't have a lot of choices here. Well, we can get a music instrument. But I got nowhere else to go. Uh, yeah. Alright, now we're guaranteed to get shocked. Good thing you can't see me at the moment. Keep going. Keep going. Step into the light. <laughs> oh man uh, yeah there's going to be a lot of dying this time I can see it yeah all of the uh, the chat bot information is up to date accurate and correct spitter and lots of feral runners that will easily be able to run me down and no good locations nearby. If I head back into the building, I'm definitely going to have to deal with shocks. If I knew for sure there was a back door here, I would actually loop back around. The shocker's in here. He might see me, but I, I might be able to get to that door. But I just, I don't think there's a door back here. If I come out and around this way, there was a shocker out this way earlier. I could step back into the door, but then I'm going to have to deal with a spitter. His next shot's probably going to tag me. Stamina's holding up pretty well, all things considered, but as soon as they start mounting up pain and shock and so on, it's going to go south really, really fast. Yeah, I got no real useful buildings right here near me in this intersection. Yeah, I think I'd rather play tag with a shocker. <laughs> well, we're at unmanageable pain. Strength just went down. Focus, uh, or speed is down. He, he apparently saw me and came back this direction. Do to do to do. Ouchie, ouchie. And we're already half dead. <laughs> oh, the joys of being naked in the apocalypse. Naked, shocked, poisoned. <laughs> zero, 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 and zero. 
We have zero at every stat, but I still have 70 moves, and, or 70 speed and 72 running. Uh, got a group, uh, grabber? I'll never be able to get away from the grabber. I'm gonna have to pray this door is unlocked. If it's not unlocked... Oh, it's unlocked! <laughs> uh, I don't think I can ever remember having zero in all four stats and still being mobile. <laughs> All right. Well, we're in a much better position in the for the next five turns or rounds it's going to take them to break the door down. The uh, poison and pain's not even going to wear off before then. Badly poisoned. Uh, so what do we got in here? We got some beer? We got beer! We got Pilsner! All right, we can get back to the smash status. Right now we're oh we are trash still. Alright, so we haven't uh we haven't gotten off trashed yet. So Dex minus two, perception minus two, intelligence minus two. <laughs> so it doesn't help me any to drink the beer. Uh flashlight, I can't do much with right now. Puts me here. I really, 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 really miss being in the residential section. I can't tell you how much I really miss being in the residential section. Uh, there isn't another, there is an apartment of this direction if I can get to it. I'd have to run an entire block. Uh, the small office actually isn't bad. There's multiple ways in and out of that. Outdoorsman store. Ooh, that could actually be useful. I think we're going to have to change direction. The previous plan is not going to work. I'm not going to be able to circle back that way, so... We're going to uh, rest here as long as they allow me. Then we're going to head out to the office. Then diagonally up to the outdoorsman's store. Then we're going to try to get to this apartment complex. And I think I'm just going to try to work my way across this direction. See if I can get to these houses. If I can manage to make it to the... Uh, stay alive long enough to get to any kind of residential district, my survival chances go way, way up. So that's, that's the plan. Uh, I think that's definitely going to be the best one for what I'm looking at right now. Grocery store, may or may not have a back door. Pizza parlors, got side windows and such. I'm, I'm missing, I, I missed out on my opportunity for the pharmacy. We do have a doctor's office roughly in the direction we're going. Alright, so that's the plan. So we're going to stay in the shadows and get as much of a lead as we can here. All right, we're just going to wait right here until I see that door start to go down. Hopefully I time it right and I get moving before a shock zombie lobs uh, another shock blast through there. Otherwise, we're just going to sit right here. Passing our turn for a bit. I may get super lucky. They might get distracted by something before they start breaking the door down. Oh, here they are. All right, they've arrived. Uh, hallucinating, still badly poisoned, and that wasn't good timing. Um, yeah, I gotta get moving. At least we got our stamina back, so let's run. Trying to stay out of line of sight of that shock. Damn it, he still got it off. Oh, this is that, you're not allowed to, to break a window crap again. God, I really hate this. <laughs> I can't break the window. Um, alright, that's that's pert annoying. That's gonna slow me down a goodly amount. What do we got out here now? Um solar vehicle, some slower zombie types, that's fairly generous. Easy access into the office, assuming I could break a window, which I can't. I'm gonna have to grab something just to break windows with. So, a couple of acid zombies. I got one more door behind me, but they'll come through the door or the window pretty easily. And my speed still pretty much sucks. I still don't have a better path, so let's go ahead and get moving. I just, if I can get to from building to building and then even have just a few moments to get some stamina back. Uh, and here comes a brute from up north as well. Alright, this this is bad. I 
All right, Brute's leading the charge right here. I need to get in the office and get some doors between me and them and then ski daddle out the back. Maybe I can... Uh... Nah, I don't think I'd, I'd take the chance of grabbing a uh, swivel chair either. All right, get me a door, please. All right, that's the first thing I needed. Oh, crap. Uh, back to walk mode. Wait till they break the door down. It's going to take that brute no time at all. Stamina recovery. All right, we got the minimum that I wanted. So we got our stamina bar back up to full. As long as my stamina bar is full, I got options. <laughs> So, our next target is the Outdoorsman store. Hopefully we can get to it fairly cleanly and scoop up some clothing, a uh, winter jacket, uh, about anything with a pocket and some warmth would be greatly appreciated. Then we're going to try to go straight across the street to the apartment and again, just keep scooping and running. Um, the apartment will give us some pretty good opportunities if I get into it either ahead of anything following me or cleanly, which is, there's no way I'm going to get into it without being detected. Not in these wide open streets with one and a half, 1.5 zombie spawns in a mega city. Oh, am I vomiting now? I am vomiting now. We are nauseous. And they're trying to come through the wall instead of coming through the door. Oh, now they're hitting the door. That better be the door behind me getting hit. I'm going to be pretty unhappy if it's the one in front of me. Hey there, brute. I'll let you hit that last door space. Yeah, I hit the wall. Oh, that's a much good, better plan, Brute, now that you can see me. Yeah, go through the wall. I'm not really gaining anything now other than I'm waiting off the poison, which we did. All right, so we're just down to the normal infection, nausea, sad, influenza, trashed, and pain. <laughs> hey there, Swan. Welcome back. Good to see you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. So, a lot of people have joined in. Here's what's up. Here's Bruce Binger, the shower victim. You can use the chat commands, as always, to check out the challenge info. We're only about, uh, oh, ten minutes into it, <laughs> of the actual gameplay. Uh, we're per currently naked, running through the, mid of a, running through the middle of a uh, mega city, uh, trying to stay ahead of the zombie crowd. We got tagged pretty hardcore when we finally got uh, surrounded by some shockers and poison and other stuff. We managed to lose the initial pursuit, but we are still being trailed by some uglies. Uh, we're cold. All we've got on is gloves. And uh, yeah, so we are a chemically imbalanced uh, insomniac with mood swings and schizophrenia. And we're also a Shaolin tiger style uh, martial artist. All right, so standing here further isn't really helping me. I'm not getting more stamina. The stats might improve slightly. Oh, never mind. He's done. Next door for you, buddy. All right. So, uh, crap. I got to go out. Of, it's going to let me smash a window. I had better be able to smash a window. We're in trouble if not. Can't smash a chair. All right. Whoa, he's catching up fast. Uh, which building is that? That is the gun store. No way am I going to get into the back of the gun store. So, oh, chain link fence. And a window I could go through, but I got stuffs to deal with. Hmm. So I remember the, the layout. Chain link fence over here is going to have uh, braziers and I can't remember what else. And I think there's going to be a door leading into the actual store. And it'll take the brute a swing or two, probably just one, to go through the chain link. I think I'd rather do that than go up this way. No, I don't have a towel. <laughs> We're playing the NSFW version of Cataclysm, so if you have young children nearby, make sure you send them out of the room, and I'll, I'll zoom in the character screen here. There you go. There's Bruce in all his glory. He's got some work gloves on. That's the sum total of his inventory. <laughs> all right. We are a commando drunk, infected, influenza infected uh, Shaolin monk. Stupid guys keeping up with me even when I'm sprinting. Over the fence we go. In there we go. I can't do anything about these crates. Oh, crap. I was really hoping for some clothes or shoes. Back to walk mode. What do we see? 
Boots and poor fit and through the lens. Well, the boots will help. I was hoping for a little more than that. Oh, another shock zombie. Because, of course. He hasn't spotted me yet, but he will, I believe. Nope, still hasn't spotted me. We're out of his line of sight. We might make it around him. I have flare gun. Uh, grab the boots. Get hit a few times. Now I've got that problem. So we're going to go out the window. No, I guess we're not going to go out the window. Strength five, and it's not letting me break the window. Apparently I don't get to break the window. Well, we're about to get surrounded. It's getting bad pretty quick. Thought we might have had it under control. Now yeah, we're bleeding from the head. Cop car, what do we got outside? Apartment complex is still my best bet. I hope I have the stamina to get to it. Uh, I'll probably aim for this one right here. Group of feral runners going to come chase me down again. Yet another brute. Plus the shock zombie is probably going to spot me when I get about here and tag me. This is all assuming we don't lose or die from blood loss to the head. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood loss. Trying to keep the uh, shock zombie out of my line of sight as long as I can. Once again, I can't break windows. Ugh. Which means I can't go through doors, which means a lot of things. Look at all these books. Cookbook. Blanket. Do I wear the blanket? Nah. Let's go around the bunny rabbit. I need to be able to smash something to get rags to stop the bleeding, but I, at strength three, I don't think I can even break a chair. Oh, I, I should have grabbed this. My bad. Wield the stick. Run mode. I'm not fast enough. Great. I'm going to get killed by a Z, because a Z9 got to me before I could uh, get a door closed. <laughs> yeah, Z9's coming again. All right, let's pick a different room. Now I need a bed. That's not a bedroom. Uh, a bunch more zombies. Where the duster? Oh, the bleeding stops, so at least I don't have to worry about that part. We've got a stick, but the stick's not good for my martial arts style. We actually got some clothes on. We haven't taken any other uh, infections yet. Uh, how are we looking? We've got gloves, boots, and a duster. That's not too bad. Now I have carry capacity, six liters, but stamina's actually okay. It's can I get out of here and break contact again? I don't think I'm gonna make it to the uh, the residential. I just can't can't shake contact for more than a few seconds at a time. Uh, probably try to head towards the grocery store. Maybe it'll be one of the ones that has the uh, basket cart out front that I can use as a temporary shield. Not being able to break doors down is pretty big deal. Another bar. Gonna get tagged no matter what I do here. Yeah, we're dead right here. I'm not gonna be able to get away from this stuff. <laughs> All right. Do to do to do. Come on. Now you're being ridiculous, game. <laughs> Hit me in the head. Yeah, there was too much stuff from every direction. As soon as these guys boxed me into this room, there was just no way I was going to get anywhere. All right. Yeah, they each took a nibble. They all wanted fresh meat. <laughs> World, binge, reset, new game, binger 2. So, for anybody that just joined, you get to see a brand new start. We are up to Bruce, binger the second. Not going to change anything. Tiger again. All right, so like last time, we're going to teleport into the middle of the city. Uh, this one's 
This one's not too bad. All right, let's do our normal, though. Let's reveal the map. Whoops. Nope, don't want to teleport. Reveal map. All right, what kind of city we got? Uh, good size. Good enough. <laughs> All right. This one we're okay. We're kind of in the center-ish, and I've got uh, I've got a field I can go go sit in and watch the clouds. All right, I didn't like the last one because we were right on the outside edge. This one I don't have that excuse. So I do have some residential nearby, which will help. It's not going to solve my problems, but it's still pure city in every direction. Oh, that's where we're going to set up camp. Right there. I just need to go here. <laughs> a nice little ranch in a dead area here. Or go set up in the one-house town of Candia. That's quite the trip to get over there, though. Eh, it's just a casual walk. Where is it? Right here? It's almost due, due west. Yeah, almost due west of me. West, a little bit north. I could walk that. Alright, so, well, this is an interesting building to start in. <laughs> I was expecting a house. We got a hooded hard hat already that's fitted even. Not that that means any. Well, actually, it does. I can't remember if the hood actually covers anything. Uh, don't need a concrete mixer. We can see not much around me, so that's good. All right, let's ditch the towel again. This is the NSFW version. We have a torso infection. That's not good. No inventory. Starting character again. All right, so obviously we got to go get that hat. Um... We've got houses not too far off, across the street, diagonal north. I'm trying to decide. This like this over here looks good to me to try to set up in if I can get there because we've got swamp. We've got two little tiny spaces of swamp. We've got a grocery store, and we've got houses all around this little neighborhood here. Office, mail surplus, orchard. Um, oh, that's the or. Oh no, that's just the orchard. There's no processing center for it? Huh. Alright. Gun store, church, bookstore, library. Uh, but what I need is uh, these things. Doctor's offices. Doctor's office. Doctor's office. Doctor's office. The problem being I won't be able to get into the, the bank or into the... Uh, into the safes anytime soon. Yeah, this one will give me a little bit better shot at survival. It's still going to be horrifying because, I mean, it's it's 1.5 zombie spawns in a mega city, so starting in the daylight. But no matter what, it's going to be bad. My best option is still going to be house to house, find a basement, and then try to hole up in the basement, and then slowly clear the area upstairs, making sure I can meet my basic needs of uh getting a fire going and getting some hydration so looking around i'm still thinking that's the best direction to go so that's what we're gonna do all right so we'll get the hat then we'll peek out on the, the uh, street we'll see if it's gonna be better to try to get to the house or that house then we'll adjust all right, safe mode on, fire going on. Wear the hat. Oh, yeah. Now we're styling. Either hooded hard hat. All right, just the head. We'll take it. Uh, Next up. Ooh, is that a lighter on the ground? I can carry a lighter in my hand. I have to punch people with it. Unless I turn off the, uh, or force unarmed, I think, will let me do it. Grab the lighter. Then I don't get my Tiger Kung Fu style. Keep hands free. Minus 64, it's chilly. Alright. Players won't wield things unless explicitly told to. Yeah, it's not going to help much. Alright, uh, so, what are we looking at here? We've got a house there. Oh, it's got a basement! Wait, is that the house? 
What is this big garage thing south of me? Oh, that's the warehouse. Uh, so yeah, we got a house with a basement already. So we're definitely heading there since we can see it. And there's no zombies between me and there. Only one zombie has spotted me. Everything else is southeast for the most part. A couple northwest. Some of that's probably going to spot me as I move. Which I don't want, but I can't control. we got to get to this house in this basement. Let's actually run to it. Try to minimize how long we're in the open. <laughs> can't break that glass. Alright, get down there. What do we got? It's not a spider basement. Love having that one night vision. Good old three perception. It's going to be complete. Oh, this is the... Uh, wait, which is this? Yeah, this is the uh, auto dock basement possibility. Yeah, this is the auto dock. We might have an auto dock. Oh, hey there, rat. Yeah, see, I'm only hitting for six and four while I've got the uh, the lighter in my hand. We still killed it, but now that we're inside, I can drop the lighter. I'm not sure seven strength is going to be enough. We'll go back behind here and see if it's got the... It's auto dock basement. We have a cyborg. <laughs> well, all right. I should be able to kill a cyborg with my tiger style. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, cyborg. So we have an auto dock basement. There it is. <laughs> oh, I search for these things so, so, so long, generally. I'm not real happy about the alarm system, CBM. But yeah, we've got an auto dock basement. Not anything else in here, but uh, I, I could hole up back here, I guess. It's not really helping me to hole up way back in this corner. Oxygen tank, that can be useful. Let's get our stamina back. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty amused that the first house I go into has an auto dock basement. Yeah, now I have to live. No guarantees there, man. I'm not making any promises. We've got detergent so I can clean up filthy clothes. So that's good. Anything in there? We've got meat sandwiches and a can of beer. Awesome. Anything else? That's it. Anything over in the wreck area? Phone book. Just basically some... Uh, oh, we can throw the towel back on. There you go. It's, it's safe to bring the kids back in the room. All right, that's it. That is the autodoc basement. It's always back behind these lockers, the little door if it's going to have one. All right, stop running around. Now I have to think about how I'm going to do this. So I have no carry capacity. We've got a lighter with nine charges. Um, I do have Fab 2. I started with Fab 2, so I could put the brazier together as soon as I smash one of these lockers. That would give me light. I can smash if, if... I'm not sure Strength 7 will do it, but I might be able to smash the locker with the uh, crowbar. Actually, I have to have light to actually make the brazier, so I'm going to have to go upstairs. I'm not going to set a fire. There's no oven down here. Well, the crowbar, yeah, but I can't make it without light. And I can't make light without the brazier, and I can't make the brazier without light. <laughs> so, uh, if I had a flashlight, I could flip it on and make the brazier, and then I'd be set. But i got to go upstairs to make anything right now. Um, yeah, so. There's not anything I can do down here because I can't craft. We'll sort and store the stuff later. So at the moment, this is just going to be my retreat point. So, if we do decide to try to stay here, which is not guaranteed, we've got a house, we've got a garage, that's useful. We've got a grocery store and a small warehouse. Now, the other thing I have to think about, temperature down here should be fairly mild. Yeah, we're actually in okay temperature. So I could wait out some of these negative effects... Waiting till dark is probably my best play, because anywhere I go in the light, it's just going to be chased, being chased, being chased, being chased. 
and the chances are I'm just going to keep running into more and more stuff until they eventually get me. So with this particular type of start, i got to be really, 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 really cautious about how I start it. Um, I'm really hesitant to go outside, but the, the other downside is if I don't go... If I wait till night, then again, I can't craft. Uh, is that a clothing store? Oh no, that's the dealership. Yeah, I remember seeing all those up there. Oh, we got a construction site. Maybe we'll get another pristine condition. Uh, uh, what is it, an excavator? Whatever that vehicle was. I forgot the name of all of a sudden. 